Uh, and then I was Googling something else for the presentation. I saw that last weekend at a high school in Seattle, we lost three children from the same high school because they took pills that they thought were something else, but they were just fentanyl, fentanyl-laced pills. And I put up a stat at this presentation to tell you just sort of the, the, the depth of the problem. Is one DEA office in Arizona. In 2015, they seized no fentanyl pills, no fake pills that are made with fentanyl. In 2016, it jumped to about 32,000. In 17, it went up to about 70,000. This year alone, that one office has seized 1.1 million pills that the cartels manufactured to look like something else, and they're made with nothing but fentanyl. Now, I'm telling you, if we seized 1.1 million, how many do you think made it through? And that's just the one office. And by the way, the pills are manufactured to look like a hydrocodone, an oxycodone, but they're also being manufactured to look like an Adderall and a Xanax. Who do you think they're targeting if they're making pills look like Adderall and Xanax? They're targeting our children. That's who they're targeting. They're targeting who they think is the customer base for that, and it's our children. That's what we're up against. That's why we're here today. That's why kids like Alex are in the back of the room shaking their head saying, you probably have a lot more work to do, right? We need you. We need you to step up. We need you to make these videos and get word out there. We need children to be aware of the dangers of what's going on out there, and they need to hear it from all of us. We need to be the voice of this. But prevention is so important, it's a long-term solution to a problem that's smashing our faces in every day. It's a, it's a problem that we all wanna to solve tomorrow. My bosses want me to solve it tomorrow. Commissioner Quinn wants his people to solve it tomorrow, but prevention is a long-term solution. And we all have to sow those seeds of prevention and hope that a few years from now, we start to see the results. Because kids like the, the two you know, great kids that we have in the room and the few that didn't get to make it are, are willing to say, I wanna be a part of this solution. I wanna do something great. Because we're losing 77,000 Americans to a drug overdose in our country, the United States of America. 77,000 Americans are gonna die of a drug overdose. They're gonna study this point in our country. I've said this now for four years. Years from now, our children, and maybe our grandchildren, are gonna be studying in school what happened in the United States during this era. How did we lose so many people to drug addiction? What happened? My only hope is that the next chapter of that book is the response. What we did to stop it. You heard some people talk about that today. I believe in it. I believe in my heart that we're doing the right thing, and it is, as Dave said, starting in a room like this today. So again, all I wanted to say was thank you. So with that, I say thank you all. Thank you for coming, and I hope you stick around and socialize with everyone for a bit.